Hello, Mariners of the Stars. I am Parthos, and this is Star Citizen. And we are looking out the window here at a planet called Crusader, where we are on a base which is hovering above it. It's a gas giant, and that's why it's all pink and blue out there. And over here is our kind of room, our hotel place that we've been sleeping in. Here's our bed. Over here we have a shower. Comfy seats, little bar area. You can make yourselves coffee and have some cookies and coffee machine there. A lot of this is just for show at the moment. A bit of flavor tech to the game. But we can click here, open the door. And it lets us out. Now you probably know what Star Citizen is all about, but if you don't, Star Citizen is a multiplayer space trading and combat simulation game. It had a Kickstarter a few years ago and it has become the highest funded, crowd funded video game of all time. It's raised over 500 US dollars. Let's say that again 500 million US dollars. It's still in alpha and, uh, and the guy in charge of it all, the guy uh, who came up with the idea, Chris Roberts, was the person who created Wing Commander many decades ago. Our game I quite liked back in the day when I was a small sprog. There is going to be a single player part to it called Squadron 42 but at the moment there's a what's called the Persistent Universe where all the multiplayer action happens and that's divided between US servers, EU servers and Asian servers and each instance has up to a hundred people on it at a time. That's what I know about it. Hi! Thanks for coming in. Oh, hi. Um, can we buy anything? So we could buy an ice cream, a quick buy an ice cream. Sure, we'll have an ice cream. Now, can we eat this ice cream? No, because we've got our helmet on. So we go in the inventory, drag our helmet off, and there we are. And now, now we can eat our ice cream. And that will affect our burst and hunger in some kind of way. But everything a player does seems to stay, so eventually it's going to be cut some kind of persistence so that every time a player drops anything anywhere, it will stay there forever until something happens to change it. But yeah, it's all pink outside because it's on a glorious gas giant and uh, quite nice pink blossom trees. Here's a, uh, the local shopping centre. Everything's very beautiful in this game, very immersive. Up here, it's kind of a local kind of fast food joint. You can buy burgers. You can choose which one you want to buy by hovering over it. It tells you what they are. Some, some of them are vegetarian if you, if you want to be a vegetarian. And uh, yeah, you can buy drinks. We did quick buy before. We can click on more info actually bring it up but it tells us all about it and we can kind of buy confirm purchase and there we are that should go into our inventory and it'll be in here somewhere now there it is down there but all this inventory is at Orison which is the port on the gas giant we say there so if I take off and leave this area we won't have access to this unless we take it with us and I can't take it with us because we don't, we don't have a backpack on. And we can't put a backpack on because we don't have any armour to clip it onto. For some reason, backpacks have to be clipped onto armour. So if we grab this, it looks like the armour's actually got space to put stuff in. But then we can also put a backpack on. And there we are, we're going to have loads of space. Backpack space and armour space. And now we can carry our drink in the backpack. It does look kind of bulky now. And you can see it on us now. And over here we see a statue of a storm wall. And this tells, tells us all about it if you want to read that. But yeah, look, this is the a representation, a statue representation of a storm wall. Which is the kind of creature that flies about apparently. I don't know if they're actually in the game yet. But they can fly about in uh, the atmosphere of the gas giant. And you can buy plushies of them at some of these shops. 
which is kind of cool, and put them in your spaceship and fly around with it. Well, that's something to look at while we wait for one of the shuttles to take us to our destination. And they should pull up here, we grab, we, uh, we get aboard and head off. There's one coming now? No. I think I'm waiting at the wrong stop. Hang on, let's go find the other stop. This is the place where we need to be. So we want to go to the spaceport. So we wait here. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Here it comes. As this lines up, the gate should open. Oh, there's another player. Can you hear me? Joe, How we going? Can... can you hear me? Last call for passengers. Yep, I hear you. The shuttle is can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Please can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Getting in, getting in, excuse me, getting into anything good? I'm just going to record a little video for the first time and show off my P15, 315P. Very nice. What are you up to? I uh, just gotta get on and do a, a uh, mission real quick of uh, delivery or something just to get my star citizen fix. How how lot how much have you played star citizen? Quite a bit. Um, I uh, own a few ships. What's your biggest ship? I got the C2 Hauler, the Reclaimer, uh, McCarrick, and um, the uh, Crusader uh, Star Runner. All right, what is your favorite type of gameplay? The next shuttle is at the um, station. I like salvaging uh, with the crew on the Reclaimer. Uh, that's pretty fun. Um, I like that group gameplay. I think when they add the resource system in uh, on the, sh the ships, It'll uh, promote that um, crew gameplay um, that I like. Oh yeah, playing with friends will be good, yeah. Oh, it's nice meeting you, dude. Nice meeting you, have fun. Bye bye. A friendly reminder to check for your personal belongings. So yeah, that was a, uh, a random multiplayer person. A person in the multiplayer world of Star Citizen. Who knows who you could meet? You could have made friends. But I don't need friends. I've got you. <laughs> Uh, I should make friends really, but yeah. So the vibes changed here because it's more like this is a spaceport, so it's got an airplane feel, airport feel. So we go over here, get a lift from like the airport transportation service, and we can head into the airport proper. Well, it'll be a spaceport, but you know, same kind of vibe. The old lifts. Let's go to Dunlow Spaceport. What I don't have is elevator music. Random NPC. Security. Don't do anything at the moment. Head down through here. And then we got to go through kind of customs area I suppose later on at some point we'll get scanned here for any illicit cargoes or smuggling type stuff who knows more security type sh uh, shenanigans over here we can pay our fines in case we've been bad you know it happens oh I love this sunset I think I'm Crusader uh, the travel people, you always get travel people, don't you? Trying to give you money and Thanks for coming in. money exchange and stuff. Hi, here's, the store. here's one of those things I told you about the plushies of that creature. I think I can just grab it, you know. 
I think a plane put up there. Yeah, let's, ha let's nick it. I'll have you. No, we'll have it in our... Maybe we'll have it in our uh, ship. Oh, I can't put it there. I'll just put it... Put it in, in our... Um, our main inventory for now. So here we can... Rent different ships. So you don't have to buy... You can buy ships for lots and lots of money. In game. Or sometimes or select a few of them out of the game to real money or you can rent them not all of them are available to rent all the time but it's options you know and here's the plushy store look at that massive plushie at the middle I don't think you can buy the big ones which is unfortunate maybe not yet maybe one day You can buy these ones though, can you? Middle sized ones? I think so. But yeah, it's looking very airporty now. The airport shops, spaceport shops. But over here are the consoles where you summon the ships that you own. You can manage your fleet, the fleet manager. Click on this. The I only have one, the Origin 315P, and apparently it was destroyed, so I have to click Claim to make an insurance fraud claim. Now I've got to wait 5 minutes and 6 seconds in real time for this. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. It does appear that we can pay a small fee to expedite it. But I'd rather pay 1800 like an expedite to be instant rather than wait another three minutes. I can't wait another three minutes. Let's go for it. Now it's in the storage facility. Now I can click retrieve. Vehicle selected. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. It's gone to Hangar 4. Please visit us again. So all we have to do now is go to one of these lifts slash elevators if you're if you're American. Go in here. Not a docking port. Hangar for. Docking ports for the for the big vessels. I've only got a little one. There she is. There she is. In midnight blue. That's the colour I call this. That 315p at the top there. I mean I think it's I think it's, that's a beautiful vessel. That's not the colour it came in. It came in a kind of yellow and black colour. Um and I paid a dollar in real life to make it blue. Which I think was money well spent. Now, if we look under here, there's a button, and we can click that, and this is where we can put cargo. Um, there's one there, and there's another button here, and uh, you can put cargo there. Now, what you don't want to do is go in here and then close it which you can press a button you can kind of reach out and press a button and it'll take you up into here and you'll get stuck and there's no way to get out so don't do that that's a silly thing to do who would do such a silly thing i did it once and i was stuck oh yeah it's lovely that now to get inside we have to open the door here oh it opens the door let's let's actually get get inside we can't reach it so it's, it's too high i would like to actually have a ladder please oh don't bump my head that's kind of cool and now we climb up it and seamlessly pretty much get into it the ladder extracts by itself the door closes and we are now inside our vessel. 
a lot of vessels just have a cockpit so you're straight into the seat and that's it and looking at the windows but this one there's a little back area where we can walk around and have a sleep and uh, stuff like let's first of all let's turn the lights on because I need to you need to sit on the seat first and power up the vessel so like the vessel's dead as in like there's no lights there's no power but if we press U it like that then I can hold down Y and get out of the seat while the power's on and we can see what it's like there's our bed a clock some of these are optional extras like the uh, the pattern on the bed the the clock and the photo thing over there um, the optional extras this coffee machine is optional extra and so is this food processor over here we've got a place to store two rifles we've got a drinks cabinet and in here is a wardrobe to actually put storage in oh that reminds me we're going to want to bring our helmets put that in our backpack and if we put this to our hands we carry this We can just have it as our mascot. Place. There we go. It's a mascot. That'll that'll <laughs> that'll last until we lose our ship. Bin Lee the Stormwall Large Plushie. Now we can interact with our HUD and by clicking menu here and selecting comms and we can talk to the landed services and ask permission to launch. You are clear to launch. Here we can press F4 and we can look. Get the engines on now. And we can look all around. There she is. In sunlight. But we don't want to spend all day in the hangar. It's back in the cockpit. We've got permission to take off now. I just need to throttle down so that when we actually uh, lift off we don't hit the ceiling and now I can press space bar to, uh, to go upwards Launch complete. yeah now we're now airborne there we go hovering using thrusters we can now push forwards and there we go If we press C, it turns on the kind of um, boost control. I don't have to keep pushing forwards all the time. And now we can just spin around and look at our surroundings. As we extend upwards from the gas giant's atmosphere. We're going pretty slow at the moment. And those wheels do look a bit silly, don't they? So we can press N to bring those guys in now I look a bit more like we mean business and kind of like airplane controls we've got those 
numbers on the side, left and right, that are scrolling with us as we the kind of stationary as we scroll upwards and of course we get to 90 then we're 90 degrees 90 degrees pointed straight up so we're kind of like directly up from the center of the planet there we go tipping over so we're pretty much now pointing directly up and if I throttle up now we are going a lot faster To extend upwards, we should start. Actually, we're still not going full speed here. That's full speed. Now we're going full. We're going so fast now that if we was to start turning, it would affect us as a human. We would be able to like we start blacking out and stuff like that. Because we've throttled into the red area, so that means the ship might be able to handle it. But as a human we'd have some negative effects we can kind of look left we can kind of look right but it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful game and a very, if there's anything I like it's a beautiful game they're way high above Port Orison Could even afterburn if we need to do it. There we go, now we've got the afterburn there, so we're going super fast. And it looks like we're about to go through the clouds. Okay, we're leaving the armistice zone, which means potentially another more another player in real life could attack us. Or anybody really. I actually didn't realise how big the atmosphere was, how thick the atmosphere. It takes quite a while just to get into the blue area, out of the blue area, using this drive. But luckily we do have something called a quantum drive, which allows us to get places faster. So if we press F2, now this is the standard system. This is where we are allowed to fly in the game at the moment in its alpha stage. And we are actually around Crusader there. So if we click on this, we're just leaving Port Orissa. There's a space station going around it, or there's a comms array. I think there's a station you can land on orbiting it as well. There's like Daymar, there's Yella, there's Kaelin. So we can click on Yella. And I've never been to Yellow before, I don't think I have. Named after the oldest of the three siblings. Featured in the 25th century children's morality tower, a gift for Baba. This moon has a water ice crust and said to represent Yellow's cool and calculating mannerisms. So we can just go here and just check this out and see what this planet's or moon's all about. And let's select it. So then we've got uh, a root set come out of here it looks like we've left the atmosphere proper of Crusader and we're now definitely in space if we turn B on it turns our quantum drive on so the quantum drive is charging up and it will help us find the location of the place we've set a route to so we can point towards it it's that blue square oh we're going so fast that we're reading out because of the the g-forces oh no i went too fast let's slow down that there was that turn it wasn't good for us it wasn't good for us i apologize that was a red out all the blood rushed to my head that's why you want to maybe keep the speed at a reasonable, a reasonable rate of knots. Okay, let's uh, now that we're pointed at it, it's charged up. It's calculated the the, uh, the 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 jump, and if we hold B, we can line up and go. And there we go. I think this was a kind of like a jump point actually to get us 
away from Crusader so that we can jump to our actual destination without it being in the way. So then we point to the actual, that's it, now that's actual yellow. And now we can do the same thing, it should be a bit longer. And there we are, we are now in quantum space. And we'll be there in not too far away, but we are we are flying away. At the crazy amount of speeds. Oh there it is. Now we could We could while that was happening, while we was in quantum drive, we could have still got out of our seat and walked around had we had time. Some ships are so big you can have multiple crew multiple rooms, multiple bedrooms, turrets, all those kinds of things. But yeah, we're just going to go and check this planet out, see what it's all about. There's a research post there. Let's just go and land on a planet. And should we do it in the... Yeah, it's not too... Yeah, let's land here. Hold down B. Quantum drive activated. And we can quantum drive right right through it. Takes a little while to kind of get started sometimes. Well, here we are. Look at this. The graphics. It's amazing. I thought, I was hoping it wouldn't be on the dark side, but apparently it's on the dark side. We could always just choose somewhere that's not on the dark side. But look at this. Throwing rocks down there or something. Or was that a crash ship? They're rocks. I mean, this is amazing. Look how beautiful it is. We can get low as we want. There's no restrictions. I'm playing this on high graphic settings. There's there is a very high. But my computer kinda of stuttered a little bit with it. I don't know. And look at that. What a beautiful thing. Let's go over here. Just looking at the uh, the surface really. And of course we can land on this planet. It's not just scenery. Because this is not a gas giant. This is actually solid ground. We can, we can land. We can get out of the ship. We can walk around. I'm thinking it probably is quite cold out there so I don't know if we would survive very long but we can kind of try it out for a little bit but I just uh, thinking we get somewhere that's kind of flat and in the sun woohoo look at this whoa it's amazing and I was worried I was going to hit the ground there <laughs> but it's brilliant I love this game just for the exploration. I mean, you could play this game as a photographer trying to find some some scenery. I don't know if there's any animals in the game yet. I don't think there is. There may be. But look at this. Let's uh, let's just find a spot. There are habitations where you can kind of. Uh, 
be trained in and missions and such likes. But let's get out and have a little walk around. I'll throttle down. Let's go, let's land by this crater. Let's throttle down. And here we are. We're not landed, we're hovering. Let's let the gears down. And we can just... We have to turn off cruise control, throttle up, and then go down. Then we can go down. Keep going down. It should tell us when we land, when we when we got there. Landing complete. There we are. You can do it, any of you really. But if you if you're an external view, you don't get the computer talking to you. I kind of like the computer talk. I kind of like the computer's voice saying landing complete. But you can do it so that you can go up and then you can kind of you can land without it. You see the wheels suspension. You don't get the voice, but you know it depends what you like. Back inside, we can press Y. Leave the ship powered on, you know, in case we need a quick getaway. But look at this! It's amazing. Oh, we got I got an exploration ship, so we've got a window that goes across the entire ceiling. So you can lay in bed. You can look up the stars. And look at that, the ring that goes around the planet there. This Crusader. No, that's Crusader where we came from. You can lay in bed, you can log out and... Uh, if you've got a bed, you can log out in the bed and you can kind of... Get your ship where you left it next time. I think that's how it works anyway. So, make sure we've got a helmet on before we leave. Now, as you can see, there's nothing over in this side anymore because all that stuff was back at Crusader. All we've, all we've got is our can of Pepsi, or Pips, or Pips, sorry. All we've got is a can of Pips and our helmet in our backpack. Let's put this on. And uh, let's get over. Open door. Uh, I don't know. Exit ship, yeah, let's get the ladder out. Ladder's coming out. We could have just jumped, but... Ladder goes back in. I think it's saying it's minus 42... Minus 43 degrees Celsius and it, our suit doesn't like it. It doesn't like how cold it is here. But look, we're leaving. We're leaving footprints in the sand. We can kneel down and look at our footprints. Okay, they fade away, but how cool. And it's snowing. And we're getting warnings about how cold it is. But that's okay. So we've got an estimated survival time of one minute and three seconds. But of course we'll be okay because we've got our vessel here. What is this? Some random rocks in the in the uh, in the rings. That'd be interesting to go to that. But yeah, nothing really accomplished other than just showing off the game. Really, um, I just like the immersion of it. I like the exploration. There's missions we can do. If you want to see some missions, let me know. If you want to see more Star Citizen, let me know. It's like a storm might be coming in. Oh, we should probably get back into the into our vessel. We haven't named the vessel yet. I don't know if we should name the vessel for good luck. 
Let's get back inside. And we should be nice and warm in here. Better take our helmet off. Let's get back in the pilot seat. Let's uh, lift off. We're wheels up. And we're away. Well, I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's just a little look. Nothing major, nothing big. Let me know in the comments. And as always, I've been Porthos. You've been awesome. Goodbye. <laughs>